Okay, so next up today is this black EP3. It's looking nice. How are you getting on, Jensen? Strapping right. away? It's had some injectors fitted. It's got some mods that we'll list at the end, but uh, let's listen to this one raw. You ready? Yeah, it's not red. It's not red, you're right, it's not. Because we only see black EP3s and red FN2s. Red. We do see cosmic grey ones, you're right. But this is nice, nice wheel set up. I think I've got a set of these on it's my on my Evo. Red. Yeah, we know. Come on, then. Let's have a look at it. Don't we show off. You, you want to show off? We'll oh, show no. off. No, no. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, mate. You just want to get yourself involved in everyone's video, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> right. It's because I'm famous. I want to get famous. You want to get YouTube famous? <laughs> I want to be a YouTuber. Don't quit your day job, Keith. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no good at that. Hey, I won't have that said. You're the you're the best, Arky. That was a sweaty afternoon. Well, it's Rob, typically a job before you go away on holiday, isn't it? If Rich hasn't mentioned it, he's going away on holiday in a minute. Literally, yeah. in a minute. Um, yeah, so this car was booked so, in. Sorry, for, this, him. this car was booked <laughs> in for a map at one, and uh, by quarter past one, we were. Oh, I thought you were fitting the injectors. No, we definitely didn't say that. So we fitted some injectors against our better judgment. We didn't weren't exactly sure what they were. They weren't the RDX 440s, although they are blue. Uh, I think the RDX 440 copies and it wants to remember. Transpires, they're mm. from KLRS Motorsport, yeah, so which I tried to contact, but they're one of those companies where there's no phone number, no one's responding to messages, there's no email, can't get any lag and latency timings. So whilst you search KRS Motorsport 550cc injectors, all you get is Driftworks forums and everyone saying avoid at all costs. Yeah, so anyway, we fit an injector because we thought they might, might be very similar to the RDX 440s, we might be able to use that, they're not. It didn't start very well, it was very lumpy on start, it didn't idle very well, I was like, no, I'm not happy with that full stop. Uh, luckily, we did have some fi Bosch 550s in stock, which are, are rare now, you can't get out of them at the moment, so it was lucky we had them. Yeah. Uh, so we swapped them back to the uh, to the Bosch 550s, fired straight up, sounded loads better. Did it's sound instantly, loads better, Instantly yeah. better. Uh, Saying those about, I mean, my personal advice is don't buy cheap injectors. They're $163, and that should tell you all you need to know. You shouldn't need to be doing any more, you know, doing any more than that. Buy a decent set. 
buy a set of grams, buy a set of Bosch. Yeah, they're gonna cost you three, 400 quid, but the difference is between that and ruining your engine. So it's just, in my opinion, it's a no brainer. Yeah, totally. So anyway, we've done a bit of to and fro with this car. Then we went to obviously uh, start mapping the car. The throttle position sensor wasn't set correctly. Uh, well, wasn't necessarily it wasn't fitted correctly. So we've done that. It's still got a little bit of playing throttle body. Again, like you can buy a cheap throttle body if you want. But in this instance, you know, you get one or two percent and it doesn't it doesn't add to the throttle position even when it's calibrated. And what happens then is, you know, you're trying is to... Is that like a bit of slack in it? Yeah, like a bit of slack in it. It's just not at the right angle to activate the sensor properly. And then what happens is you've got to move forward in traffic or you want to maintain 30 miles an hour. And the injectors are cutting in and out and it's jerking back as a forwards all the time because the car's seeing no throttle input and doesn't understand why it's, why it's accelerating. So then it turns the injectors off to try and sort it out. So again, another slight problem with the car, we did put the sensor on and put it in a better position and do the absolute best we could do with it. Um, it is now very, very slight on the pedal, um, but it's as good as it's gonna get. There's nothing we can do with a cheap throttle body. So again, my advice is don't buy cheap because you end up with these problems. Yeah. Um, Customer's got a lovely exhaust on it, three inch. It's a lovely through. exhaust. Do you know why he's got a lovely exhaust? Because he makes exhaust. that's what he does for a living, yeah. right? So Sorry. he's a RJ performance. Yeah. Yeah, nice exhaust, free fluid, sounds great. Yeah, not too loud, uh, which is great. Oh, we've got what we've got here on the screen, low battery. Low battery on my phone. Do you know why it's low battery, Richard? Because it's gone five o'clock. Yeah, it's gone five o'clock. Yeah, so anyway, it, that, that was all lovely and no problem. We've got a decent size induction kit on it, skunk two inlet manifold on it, like I say, bigger throttle body, uh, skunk two stage three cams, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so we have to do a little bit of looking up on the cams about obviously what uh, the cam advance wants to be, where VTEC you know, ideally wants to be, things like that. I mean, we were doing it anyway. I, mean, uh, we I was going to say, you, you... We initially had it cutting at four six, didn't we? And obviously it just flatlined as soon as it went on to VTEC. So we moved up, we moved up, we moved up, and in the end, I ended up at six grand. According to the literature, which we printed out afterwards, it, Back was, in the it, it says five five to, to six and a half. Yeah, um, you know, up to thirty five degrees of cam timing on the low, and then up to uh, forty degrees of advance on the high side. Yeah, so exactly where we sort of were in the realms of what we we're doing. I mean, I got the high side set at thirty initially, anyway. Uh, so yeah, dialed all that in, and I think we finished on two fifty four. Two fifty four. I want to say it's two fifty five because it's nearer two fifty five than it is two fifty four. Two fifty five. But moving forward, you suggested if Ford owners can have two fifty and claim three hundred, <laughs> I can definitely have two four nine. I've got a Focus ST. I'm sorry to hear that, mate. Yeah. If I can, if I can have, if I can have two four nine point six, I can claim that at two five five. <laughs> you can. Yeah. But it has made a genuine two five five, two five four in a bit. Mm. Uh, moving forward though, if you wanted to rev it out further. Uh, you did want to rev it out a little bit further. I can say basically 9.2 is where they would get peak power. We revved out to 8.8 to eight today. I don't really want to push any more than that. Again, obviously get a, a different oil pump in there because of the area these do. What would you suggest pushing. on oil pump? Uh, a lot of people are suggesting the S2000 yeah, pump. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, the yeah. S2000 pump. Uh, and obviously that allows to rev a little bit further and get some more RPM in there, and then obviously we'll make. And that's a bit because more the S two thousand does. Right? Yeah, uh, naturally revs up there. Yeah, so the oil pump can take it. Yeah, brilliant. Do you have the graph? I'd like to come over if I want. Come on. Okay, well, graph, and then home says Richard. So here we go. There's a, a bit of a graph for you, and we finish on two hundred fifty four point five, which is two thirteen at the wheels. So another great video from Dada Days, if I do say so myself. But maybe that's just because I'm tired. But there you go, what a beautiful car. Sounds immense. If you need some custom exhaust making, these are the guys to go to. So go check out RJ Performance. Um, local lads to us, not a million miles away, and uh, doing some good work. So go check them out. Sounds immense, like I say, really sounded awesome. Um, yeah, so thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. And we will see you uh, for another video a bit soon on, I hope. Peace out. Boy, I'll see you. Wait, it was pretty fast.